Hey Soul Family, what's going on? This is the Phoenix Cloud Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Isa. I'm your friendly neighborhood intuitive oracle slash tarot reader. And I'm doing the darn thing today for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Cross Watcher. Guys, this is going to be a general love energy read. So we're checking in for this week. I'm working on doing these readings weekly for you guys and rotating them. So we're doing general love, general love, general love through the month. Okay. So, um, this is going to be general. Some of the messages may resonate for you. Some of them may not. So take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't. Okay. If nothing resonates at all. Sagittarius, then please feel free to check your moon and rising signs. And if those don't resonate at all, please feel free to check some of the older readings. Okay. Because, um, you know, honestly, even though they have dates on them, we do that really for you guys uh, because we do understand that time and energy is all fluid, right? When you're meant to see and hear things is when you're meant to see and hear things. So check them out. Uh, please feel free to reverse the roles. Take this as it resonates. You know what this is for you. Use your own intuition for your own highest good. All right. Um, Anything you need to know about me, the cards I use, that's going to be in the description box down below. And last but not least, if you like this video, if you get a little nugget from it, please go ahead, show your girl some love by liking the video, commenting, and or subscribing to become part of the tribe. This is the Tarot Dome. That's what I like to call it, the Tarot Dome, okay? Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Merry Kwanzaa, Happy... Hanukkah, all the things, okay? Whatever you celebrate, thank you so much for being here. Let's get going. Um, I'm going to read some Oracle at the end, so please stay tuned for that. We're only doing about 15 minutes here. What are the messages for Sagittarius this week, Spirit? What did you want to talk about for Sagittarius? All righty. Ooh. What's the big secret, Sagittarius? <laughs> Oh boy. Are some of you thinking about moving on? We've got the uh, three of wands. You're waiting for something or ready to make some sort of move and you've got the moon. So there's something happening here. What else do we have here for Sagittarius? Thank you. Wow, this justice does not stop coming out today. Let me tell you what. What else do we have here, please? Thank you. Capricorn, the devil, high priestess, page of pentacles. Wow, so far, Sagittarius, I'm like, huh? What is going on here? This is bizarre reading. All right, we've got the hermit, the moon, and the three of wands. So I think some of you have been taking some time out. Um, to really sort of be with yourselves right now. Um, it's like time out to think, but I think this is about what your next move is, okay? So you may be doing this in secret. So you could be separated from somebody or somebody is separated from you. Someone here is trying to figure some things out, all right? Um, and maybe looking toward their intuition, their inner wisdom for um, the outcome, okay? We have five of swords, 10 of cups and justice. So what I feel like is that maybe there's some disagreement here in a relationship and somebody might be ending this. So I feel like somebody could be ending a happy situation. Excuse me. Um, and it almost feels like to me that you're cho somebody is choosing here to walk away from something. There could be some disagreements that you guys have had. Somebody may be very selfish in this connection. There might be a, a lot of self-righteousness, like righteousness, like somebody who's always trying to be right and a little bit selfish in this connection. So I think that um, some of you, somebody here is considering ending this. 
or walking away from a connection here, okay? And not really giving a shit how somebody else feels because it feels very much like it's about me. What, what do I want? What does Sagittarius want, okay? Waiting for something else on the horizon. So quite possibly somebody here has got their eye on something else or some other place. There is some sort of new offer or new message, something coming through here with the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so Sagittarius, somebody may be coming toward you with a message um, or some sort of like little bit of commitment offer. There might be a talk about, you know, getting together with somebody. But we have the devil and the high priestess. This is like very interesting. So there's some type of spiritual connection here. There's a mystery There's mystery, but with this Capricorn energy, it feels like two people may have been meeting in secret to talk to each other. Okay, so, oh wow, there could be an affair, all right? Um, and I'm honest, so you could be the person having the affair, maybe somebody else is having the affair. You know, the... And what it is, is like one person feels the more practical and the other feels the more spiritual. So somebody in this connection could feel that one per. it's like you love one person for one thing and you love one person for the other thing. So you may be able to have these conversations with somebody, uh, Sagittarius or you know, maybe they like having this with you. Um, and it's a mysterious, right? It's a, it's a sexy, mysterious craving type of energy that I'm picking up. Okay. So somebody either you're dealing with is thinking about leaving their partner to try to be with you. Um, there's disagreements and stuff there, but I don't think it's enough. You know, it's almost like finding reasons, finding somebody's finding reasons to get out of something here. Okay. I, that, I know that's really interesting and sort of bizarre, but that's what I get. All right. So let's talk about this Sagittarius. Um, Sagittarius, let's talk about how you feel about your person. Sag. How does Sagittarius feel about their person, please? How does Sagittarius feel about the person? How does Sagittarius feel about their person? Bored. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to say we've got four of cups here with temperance um, and page of wands. So Sagittarius, you kind of feel like <sighs> I just got, they talk too much. Like they, like they, I don't know how to explain that. Okay. So let me get into this four of cups. This you could feel really stifled and really kind of bored with this person. Okay. Sagittarius, I'm trying to get this thing to like get clear and it doesn't want to, I hate when it does that. All right. So you could feel really sort of bored. Um, you could feel a very back and forth energy about them. Like one minute you're kind of passionate. The next minute you're not passionate about them. Um, you could feel like they're a very healing individual. They can be fun, but they're not fun and spontaneous all the time. Okay. So they bore you a little bit. And this is your energy, Sagittarius. You're, you like, I feel like some of you need a little more excitement. They're only just a little bit artistic or they're a little bit of this. They're not a, a knight or a king in this position, okay? So you may be kind of really going back and forth trying to figure um, this energy out for yourself too. Tell me how Sagittarius love interest feels about them. How does Sagittarius' person feel about them?
seven of swords uh, and the lovers. So they feel a really deep connection with you, but I don't think they trust you. And I think they feel like you're very in and out. Um, you might even be really dishonest with them or disloyal. Okay. So uh, whoever you might be in a committed relationship with or seeing right now, could feel this way, or maybe this energy is swapped. Remember I said, take it as it resonates. It might be the other person here and you here, okay? So there's a trickiness going on here. Although they feel this deep connection with the lovers, there's also a deception. So they might intuitively know that you're a little bit bored, you're a little bit like have a wandering eye, or this is the other way around. You could know that your person has a bit of a wandering eye and is making plans to like quite possibly end this relationship, okay? What's the block? What's the interference or the block in this connection? What's the what's the block that's here? Hidden factors. Yeah, three of wands, waiting for something else. What else do we have here as the block? Somebody is waiting on a wish fulfillment. Okay, so here's what I feel like. <laughs> this is like, um, like I said, there may be somebody who's interested in, you might be talking to somebody outside of the relationship or they are, it's almost like they're waiting for that. There's something going on with that person or in this connection, they're just waiting for things to happen. They're waiting to either make decisions or um, for some energy to shift. They're waiting for something to happen. The wish fulfillment uh, with this three of wands is telling me that like they might have already uh, made a decision about somebody they have feelings for. Somebody has. Um, it's just sort of waiting on the timing, right? Waiting for the ship to come in or the, the signal, the go ahead, right? Very, very interesting, guys. Very, very interesting. Let's go ahead and go to the, uh, wow, the axe was on the very bottom. How about that? Hold on a second. Break up, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. So yeah, this could be happening right now or this breakup is coming. Okay. What else do we have here, please, for Sagittarius? You just, I don't know. They're, they're, they're looking for passion and excitement. Somebody's looking for passion and excitement. I almost feel like that's really you, Sagittarius, you know? You're looking for passion and excitement, and I don't think this person brings that. You're looking, you're you're on the horizon looking for something else, or they are. What else do we have here? Thank you. Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, surprise invitation or meeting hesitation. Okay. So, like I said, have faith, love is coming. It almost feels like, like, look, like that's what you could be waiting for. For some of you, you're just waiting for love to come, okay? And this is about you waiting for that love to come in here, all right? But it, for others of you, I literally feel like this waiting energy of like waiting for this whole thing to just sort of happen, okay? Um, so some of you could be with somebody who's at a distance and you're waiting to like see them, hear from them, um, be invited to where they are so you guys can spend some time together. All right. Um, oh, here are my other cards. I'm going to get one from the Romance Angels. We had passion and trust on the bottom of the deck there. Passion again. What else do we have here, please, for Sagittarius regarding this spread? It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Really nice, guys. Really nice. So um, opening up your heart. Okay, for those of you who haven't met this person yet, I think a person might be coming in here. All right. Um, and it's a person that maybe is very unexpected, could be very, very different from you, Sagittarius, with the um, the devil and the high priestess. Okay. So there could be a small offer coming through here. You could be waiting. All right. For those of you who are single, anything else here, please, regarding the spread for Sagittarius. Okay. 
give your relationship a chance work on your partnership so for some of you it's saying work on your partnership i know that's completely outside of what we just talked about but maybe for some of you this is the new partnership that you're working on okay and to give that a chance it could be that you're in those kind of questioning this connection stage so um for some of you, I feel like that's what it's talking about. Giving it a chance, okay? Giving it a chance. For others of you, it might be like if you're really that, you know, weird on this whole thing, maybe you want to put some of your energy actually into the relationship that you have right now, okay? Some of you might do that. You might decide. Somebody, like, somebody could be pulling in one direction, Um you know, towards somebody else. And this is just about giving this connection a chance, the one that you're already in. All right, guys. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for being here. If you like this video, please go ahead. If you got a nugget, hit the like button, show your girl some love. And if you really, really like it, please go ahead and subscribe. And like I said before, I wish you all a very happy and warm holiday. See you later. Bye.